Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, JRC Restoration Decor and Designs, and my name is Phyllis. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to thank you for stopping by and ask that you please consider subscribing. And for my faithful subscribers and viewers, thank you so much for your continued viewing support. In today's video, it is very, very different. I'm going to be sharing my living room with everyone. And what prompts this video is I painted my coffee table and I painted my end tables. You won't see that in this video. You'll just see that the coffee table was painted, but I am needing some ideas with restyling and decluttering. So any corrective criticism and input is so welcome. And again, I want to thank you in advance for your support. So I love the way my table turned out. I'm glad I did this and put it back together because I see, I'm show, seeing some things that I need to change. So if you can look in there, that brown is still in there. I don't know why I didn't think that would show, but looking at that, I'm liking the contrast. So I'm going to turn that black and that's on the underside of the table. And then you see the hardware down here. These are little um, L, not L, but little brackets that to attach the bottom parts to that. I'm going to spray paint those gold because my idea was to just from this part here and then the leg from under that down to the bottom was to change them gold. I did hand paint gold, but I didn't like the color that I did. And it was this leg because, let me see if I can, I think I can see, you can barely see and look. I need to, I think that's a smudge print from my finger. I don't know if it was this leg or not, but I would tape it off and it was this one because I can see and paint from here to here, all of this all the way around gold. I'm going to see if I can find a screenshot of the idea of what I'm talking about. And then the same thing, do that to all four of the legs. And then I'm going to do the end tables. I'm going to take those and paint them today. But what I'm bringing you all on for today is, um, I'm going to ask for you all's help. I want to redo my living room, furniture pieces, and my walls. The idea that I had um, when I posted about going through my journey with me to change the look of my house in 2020, well, of course, when the pandemic hit, that just changed everything. If you look there, you'll see on the wall, that's wood plastic I have to sand. Well, I took all the wood pieces down because I found out from someone who was very good and I'll try to put a screenshot of some of his work in this video. He lives, thank goodness, here in Atlanta, just an hour away. And he came and he already gave me estimates. Once I save up the money, I'm going to have him do my foyer. I'm going to have him do the bathroom that's behind this wall. And then my stairwell. It's going to take me time to save up the money, but I'm going to do that. Um, but I want to change the look. I am undecided on whether to paint all of my walls white because I like the bright look or to paint it a very light, light gray. I'm just going to go around and paint all of the trim white or I might have my brother. I'll fly him in because he's very good with painting and he, he'll knock it out in no time and do a neat job. But what I'm calling you, or not calling, what I am... Um, asking of my subscribers and my viewers to help me kind of give a fresh look. I want to stay with the gray and white and black. My accent um, finishes are silver and gold, as you can tell. Now, I love when I take these pictures and videos because when I look back on it, it tells me what I need to take out and what I can leave. From what I'm seeing here, I have all a, a lot of nice pieces. Most of them are DIY, but it's just a little bit too much. Okay, not a little bit. It's too much for me. Back in the day, I would overcrowd my tables and my walls with art and stuff, but that's just not me anymore. I love everything that I have, but I just want to downsize and minimize it. Um, back there is a table. Um, I'm going to, you can't see it, but I had it in my hall. I'm going to spray paint the legs gold, not legs, but the attachment gold. I may or may not. Um, or I may use it for a fireplace screen because I did do that at one time. So I'm unsure what I'm going to do. But basically, right now, all of my wood pieces, I want to paint them white. My end tables, I already did this. So I'm going to do my end tables today. I'm going to give my bookcase a refresh. 
um, I have something that's in my garage that I want to bring out and possibly put on this wall. And then these two chairs, I'm going to recover them. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make them the same gray as that or if I'm going to do them a off-white suede. My daughter, I bought these chairs for my daughter back in 2017 and she doesn't use them, so I've had them since. Um, I have so many ideas. I think I'm going to do a mood board and then come back with some ideas that I have, but I'm going to ask you all to just kind of give me ideas. This is for my living room first, and then I will go to my dining room. Right now, I just want the living room. Of course, out in the foyer, I'm not worried about that because I want to get the wall done. I think what I'm going to do is I'm still working on, you'll see here, I've already, you see those orange, I've already um, pa plastered up the holes and did the sanding. I have this to do now. That's Those used to look like this, all rough and stuff. It's because I have to sand it and then smooth it. And I think I'm going to go over it with white paint because I think I want the whole entire wall painted white. Um, this is a DIY mirror. Well, actually everything on here is a DIY. That was a vase. I just did that. That's all of this is DIY. I'm not going over DIYs. I'm going over what I want. And I still have these curtains up here and this up here. And this is because I'm hardly ever here. But while I'm here, I need to work on something. I, I've uh, worked over my schedule till I told my family, okay, I'm away from home too much. And I want to get some things done in my house. So I have a set time of the month for each year until I move out of Atlanta to Florida, which is my goal, um, that I need to stay here to work on my house. Now, I got a different uh, idea of what I want to do. I'm now tossed up whether to rent my house and go through um, a management company or to sell it. So I'm tossing up between those ideas and until I am sure about something I'm not moving um, what I mean moving I mean I'm not going to move on a decision I am going to be moving from Atlanta to Florida because that is my desire but I'm not moving right now so um, right now I'm just calling you I'm not calling I don't know why I keep saying calling but I just need you all's help with the decision of what to do with my living room what needs to come down what would your idea be for this wall i had stated stated when i did my 2020 journey video that this was going to be built in well the same guy that put these this wood up here i've taken down i no longer have contact with him i'm not going to even mention him so i'm not going to open up that wound again we're going to leave it alone there's so many ideas i do want this a built-in book case or just an accent wall and if I do that then I would have to move my uh, my furniture piece which is actually a six piece sectional but I gave three pieces to my daughter or actually she's going to give them back but I'm not going to get them until I move there but this is what basically this is all that I have and then again the two chairs here that I'm going to change the color to gray because you can see all my chairs here are gray um, I bought some fabric well I ordered a fabric swatch and don't pay attention to my kitchen and stuff I was vacuuming and I'm watching my laptop I bought this fabric swatch and the colors in it is gray tan and black and I was going to cover these chairs gray and put this as a backing and these are little studs that I started working on but we're going to take them all and I'm just trying to blend in. I'm just right now just getting ideas so I would just want you all's help to help me really just to redo my living room like I said I have a lot of nice pieces that I did um, DIY those things are DIY that vase is a DIY the book is a DIY these are my recent DIYs that I just did yesterday short videos this is a DIY that vase and that vase is a DIY the black thing right there is a DIY. That base is a DIY. Mirror DIY. The box DIY. The plate DIY. Those two candlesticks is a DIY. That log and what it's sitting on is a DIY. So I have a lot of DIYs 
that I've created the lights hanging on the wall well that's hanging on the wall is DIY the vase that is a DIY that table is my very first DIY that I did in 2018 DIY DIY <laughs> My bar card is a DIY. These vases are so everything in my house is a DIY, and I'm I'm seeing where I'm getting a lot. I'm adding on a lot of little things till um, I'm coming going to come to a halt. If I do DIYs, it's something that I'm going to give to my daughters because I don't want to begin to get cluttered out. When you get a lot of nice stuff together in one grouping, it begins to look junky begins to look like a lot of junk. It's nice pieces, but when you start putting too much in one grouping, it starts looking a hot mess, just too much. Um, to me right now, this is clutter. It's, it's nice, the pieces again are nice, but it's starting to look cluttery. I'm trying to figure out how to place things to look nice. And I have everything placed, but it's just beginning to look like too much. I got candlesticks area, candlesticks there, candlesticks back here, candlesticks out there um vases vase 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 and it's like just beginning to get to be too much so i just want help on helping me get my living room um decluttering some things and then here i can't afford right now to get the flooring that i wanted i wanted that dark flooring out here I can't afford to get that done now. So what I am going to do is I want to get an area rug. And I think, like I said, I'm going to make a mood board. I've never done one, but I've seen a lot of tutorials to make one. My daughter, she's created one before. And I'm going to get a mood board and just put several ideas together. And I think what I'll do is I'll post it and have you all vote on what would look nice i'm not buying any furniture i even had the idea of recovering the gray to the point where it's the covering that i want to put on it is something i can take off and wash not glue and attach like i did my daughter's sectional i want it to be like an off-white because i think that'll brighten up my living room um the same with these chairs so i just came on just to show the table that i did but also to see if I can get some um, feedback on what I should take away and what I should keep. I just did these pillow covers. Um, the These co pillow covers came from Amazon, but the gold and the black, I did these using old curtains that I had. And the beads, they are glued on, and that's a pin. But I was just trying to color coordinate things and basically, I'm one that like to use things that I already have. I'm not going to buy new tables, even though I would love, but I just don't have the money. So I'm going to work with what I have. So what I did was I just used paint that I had that I never that I purchased and never opened to do that. And that's what I'm going to do with those uh, tables. So basically, I want ideas of things that. I can use already in my home if it means just spray painting something just to change the look. So I just thought I'd just come on and ask for you all's help in helping me downsize or declutter. That's what it is. Declutter my living room because I want to get it coordinated. I'm not trying to be Instagram worthy. Although, again, I love the pictures that I see on Instagram. I'll put like this, some of them. I love some of the pictures that I see on Instagram because not everything is my taste. But I'm not trying to become Instagram worthy. I'm not one of those ones that's affected or moved by um, stuff like that. You know, I don't, my life is not moved by uh, social media. I'll put it like that. Social media doesn't move me. I live where I live and happy um, of where I am, but I love beautiful things. So if you all can kind of just help me, give me some ideas. And again, like I said, I'm going to put a mood board together and I'll come back and share the different um, things that I that came to my mind. And maybe you all can just help put it together for me. OK, thank you again in advance for your help. And I want to thank you all for stopping by. Thank you so much for watching. 
JRC Restoration, Decor, and Designs. And remember, the distance between your dreams and reality is called action. So until next time, make it a blessed and productive day, everyone. Bye-bye.